Hey guys, so today I'm coming to you guys with a haul. You guys know this is my favorite type of video to shoot because I love shopping and I love documenting everything that I got. So let's just jump right into it because it's going to be kind of big. And just remember that this is um, things that I have bought throughout the months, maybe like two months or something like that. So just because my last video, my last haul says it's only a month ago, I started buying things that were coming in after or before I posted that video like I hold on to my things for months and then I post the video so this isn't just stuff I bought within a month this is like a span of time so the first place is forever 21 and I actually kept it in the bag because there's a lot of stuff in here but no this is big stuff in here there's not really a lot of stuff I bought this open back shirt you can't see it unless I put it on which you guys know I am but it was in the workout section and it's just a regular plain tank top right here but in the back you guys can tell that the sides are twisted and this was seven dollars and I got it because I got some really awesome workout bras for you guys the next piece I bought was a Aztec dress and I was originally went to the store to get this and I tried it on and the straps right here were just too big and they're kind of still big now but I decided to go back and try on an extra small and this fits way better but it's like really long you guys it's super long I have to wear very high heels with these with this I really hate how forever 21 makes her dresses so long like you have to be like model height to like pull these off without any type of heels on but since I since I am sure I have heels to accommodate with it so I love the color of this dress oh it looks so good on my skin tone the next thing is what I was talking about with one of the sports bras I have a strappy sports bra yay so the thing is is that okay as everybody knows that the strappy um, bralettes came in and if you are a big chested girl like myself, we are not a part of the itty bitty titty committee. We are in just a whole nother committee that we need to make. Big boobies, big boob babes. Big boob babes, is there a word? Boot camp. <laughs> big boob babes boot camp. That's what we're a part of. <laughs> so sports balls actually give a little bit more lift and they actually hold girls up because it's meant to work out in. So I tried these on and they hold my girls up. So I finally have a cage bra sort of thing to wear with open back dresses and shirts. And it just makes me so happy that finally I can wear this style. I love it so much. I got a black one and it's a little different. It's the one like this, you guys. And they had a leather one that the straps were like leather, leather type of coating on it and I wanted that one but they only had extra smalls left of course ugh, Forever 21 has a lot of extra smalls but not enough larges and I got all of these in a large just because I felt like I didn't want to spill over like when you have strappy stuff your fat can spill over and I'm a victim of that I will admit it I'm a victim of the fat that spills over into strappy stuff so I got larges just to accommodate that and these these were like only like $12 this was this one actually says twelve dollars, and I believe this one might have been like thirteen dollars. So, oh, good job for everyone, everyone. You're finally getting it right. Now you just got to work on your bathing suits because they sometimes don't accommodate big booby, big booby, babe boot camp goers. <laughs> oh, that's that's a tongue twister. So the next two things I got were on sale, buy one get one free, and you guys know I'm going to Paris and. In Paris, you know, they they get down with the fashion. They wear their heels. So I want to wear my heels, but I know we're going to be doing a lot of walking. So I wanted to carry around a pair of flats just in case. So I decided to, and I wanted to like carry around my mini tripod that I can um, extend to a longer tripod when I need to film. And I really don't know if some of the girls are going to film for me. So um, I'm just going to have to maybe wing it. So I'm going to bring that along. So I decided to get a book bag. Of course I got leather the black one but then I saw it was buy one get one free I went ahead and got the burgundy one now this could be worn as a purse or it has the straps in the back and it was on sale for 19 dollars I believe and yeah $19.99 and they were originally $29.90 and I got one buy one get one free so that was an awesome deal and my tripod fits in here 
my I could probably get my camera in here and a pair of flats, maybe a water bottle and maybe some papers to write on and I'm good to go. So hopefully outfits work out with this, which I'm pretty sure it will. I picked up one thing from the thrift store. Me and my girls and some of my friends were going out to the club and I wanted a new dress even though I had a dress that I hadn't even worn yet out in public. But you know us girls, we just, any reason to shop and get something new. So from the thrift store, I got this sexy dress. Ooh, it's trippy. Look at it, really trippy. And in the front, ooh, it's see-through. And this is really risque, but we were going to the club and this small little section right here uh, covers up your um, nether regions, and but it just comes in um, where the see-through panels are. This thing was so sexy on you guys. And then it also has see-through panels right here by the boobs. You can see my bra just a little bit right here, but I wear a black one, so it's not really... I mean, you're at the club. Come on, you want to look sexy. And it's really form-fitting. I love this dress, and this dress was only like $10 or $12, so... That was a steal. So now I'm getting into the pieces that um, I only bought one thing from Walmart. Walmart has stepped up their game on the clothes that they have. I got this cheetah print kimono and I have an idea of what I want to wear this with with a bathing suit because I went bathing suit shopping as well. Ooh, this looks really good up against me right now. And this was, I got it on sale for $5. I got it in a medium because I wanted it to be kind of large on me. Oh, I love this. Guys, you need to check out Walmart because they are stepping up their game. So the next place is Charlotte Russe. And I usually don't keep things in the bag, but I had a pair of shoes to show you guys. And something else from Charlotte Russe. So these are the shoes. My friend Talia. Hey, girl. Thanks for giving me the discount. She got the buy one, get one for $10. So she bought herself a shoe and she let me have these for $10. And these are the clear heels that I have been wanting so bad. They are so sexy on, they are so chic, and I wanna bring these to Paris with me, but I don't know if it's gonna make the cut, because right now I have a lot of things I wanna bring to Paris. I'm pretty sure my suitcase is gonna be over $50, I mean 50 pounds, and you know if it's over 50 pounds, you gotta pay like $25 or something. <laughs> I don't wanna pay it, but these, oh my God, and they're velvet right here. They are so sexy on. So I got these for $10. I also got, as you, if you guys watched my lookbook, I will link it down below or put it somewhere on the screen that you guys can click. I got this trench vest, and this is what I styled for my last spring lookbook. And at first I was iffy about it because it's actually a dress. Like they told me it's a dress, but it's a small, so when I zip, try to zip it up all the way, it doesn't go over the sisters. So... <laughs> I needed a medium. I wasn't going to buy it online because they're not going to offer free shipping if I get it shipped to the store because they don't ship to the store. I'll just make it a coat. So I styled this in my spring lookbook. And this was $39, I think, you guys. It was kind of expensive, which is why I kind of wanted to return it. But I fell in love with it when I started putting outfits with it. So, oops. Moving on to Rainbow, I stopped in there when I was looking for a party dress. But I ended up just getting it from the thrift store. And I got this basic crop top but it has lace at the bottom so you know it's not your normal one i really like that so i got it in white i got it in black and i got it in navy blue and i also got these aztec pants they look so good on i got these pants you guys so i accidentally picked up the wrong one when i went to go return them they're the tight ones that tight that are tight right here and i want the open leg ones now i have Ugh, I hope they still have it. I have to go back and order or just order them or something. I cannot believe I messed that up. I originally had the ones that were wide leg, but these are the tight leg ones. So I'm really disappointed right now because I've had these for a little while now and I had to return the original ones because they had a hole in it. I'm really ticked off right now. But is fixable. I'll just go online and try to see if I can find it. Y'all don't know this, but I just turned around. I just turned the camera off, turned around, and ordered those pants. So the right pair of pants, the wide leg palazzo pants, in the same color. I'm really mad that I got the wrong pair because I just had to pay twenty dollars, twenty more dollars on those pants. But anyway, I'll just sell those to the thrift store, get my money back. Blah. It's all fixed. It's good. I can't believe I just did that. Now from eBay, you guys know I love eBay. It is ugh. They have everything, and it's so cheap. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Starting off with jewelry, I got this um, 
brown leather band watch with the rhinestones around it. Story behind this one. I went out of town to go meet my cousins in South Carolina. I fell in love with the watch that looked just like this, except it had a browner. Uh, this is more of a uh, nudish leather band and I found a brown one like this and I went to I found it at Kohl's in South Carolina so I came to the Kohl's where I lived to go find it wasn't there searched for months searched online couldn't find it and then one day I stumbled across this on eBay got it for $12 the one that I saw at Kohl's was $30 so I looked out on this one the next thing I got was this um what do you call it you guys this quartz necklace and I got it in purple this chain was shorter on this and I added some length on it so that it sits um, longer on me so this was like three dollars I think and I'm in love with like quartz necklaces so I keep buying these things and they're really cute to me and then the next thing I got was eleven dollars it's this fringe necklace you guys would have seen this in my lookbook that I just posted I don't know I'm just really into this like African s type of jewelry I think it's so beautiful the next thing I got from eBay is this Beyonce shirt. It kind of looks like a dress because it's so long, so I think I'm thinking about cutting it. But yeah, it's this Beyonce shirt, and I got this for $14, I think. I don't want to cut it because this part looks really good, but it's just way too long on me, so I'm going to have to cut it. And then the next thing I got was this um, dress. It's crisscross in the back. Crisscross confuses the hell out of me. I am just not that coordinated with putting things together. So when you give me something crisscross, it don't look crisscross on me. One strap is under here, the other one is over here, like strangling me. I don't know how to put crisscross stuff on, so I'm really mad because in the picture it didn't look crisscross. But on the sides, it is open right here, going all the way up. So that's what really got me on it, and I really loved it. It was like, I want to say like $12, you guys, with free shipping. So I'm disappointed that it's crisscross, but it's still a sexy dress, you guys. Moving on to the last three things I got from eBay, I got this um, high-waist bikini. I'm going to put it together so I can show you guys. So the top, oh gosh, <laughs> the top, oh my god, hold on. Where does this go? A few moments later. Okay. <laughs> the top looks like this. Your head goes through right here. You can undo it. I was trying to figure out where to put the strap at. And then, yeah, it's like all this strappy stuff. And it's orange, really neon orange. And it, I don't like how like long it is right here. kind of makes my boobs look saggy. I'm going to see if I can get it, like the straps shortened. But this was like $8, you guys. And this is a play off of... Andrea Iaman's bathing suits. Hers run like a hundred dollars. They pick, they pick, bleh, bleh. They fit perfectly. It smells weird. <laughs> they fit perfectly, but they're just so expensive. And I found this, and this was exactly what I wanted. I'm, I'm thinking about getting the black one, but yes, this is so sexy. And then the bottoms are like this strappy like that I think this is the back but yeah kind of a simple one like that thinking about getting the black one because this is like really nice for like a really affordable price and it, it's like really good material you guys the next one I got is this super super neon orange one and this is a little sexy I will tell you guys that very sexy so it comes in the front like this that my boobs kind of hang out just a little bit because my boobs again I'm in that big booby boot camp thing and then it has like the sides right here like that so it's extremely sexy like if you were a stripper you would wear this but like I'm going to a different country I want to look good on the beach like some girls be getting it on the beach because oh what I didn't tell you guys is that when I go to um, Paris I'm gonna try to make a trip to Barcelona Spain and go to the beach there and wear this bad boy so don't say anything this was like nine dollars the next bathing suit I got I'm really disappointed in it was so cute but I got it in a medium and usually I'm really good at knowing what will fit my body on based on the pictures online and I thought okay a medium is gonna be perfect this is not a medium this is like an extra small Actually, I think this was like a small, this one right here, 
but the bottoms were seriously an extra small, you guys. Look at that. I can't get into this. What is this? I cannot get into this. This is too small. My butt is at least a large on online china stores and they want to say this is a medium this is an extra small look at that waistband no no i can't i'm this i'm more of a that not this this is so small i can't do anything with this so i'm gonna sell this i kind of want to give the top to my friend because she might be able to fit this but i kind of want my money back so i'm probably just gonna sell it and get some money for it it's so cute it is a gorgeous color i'm really mad that this did not work out on me Okay, so if you guys watched my Sammy Dress Review video, you would have seen this beautiful set right here. It's this skirt with this disco crop top. It looks gorgeous on. It was only like $7, $9, and it came as a set. Didn't have to pay extra for the shirt or the skirt. And, oh, it is just gorgeous. Just watch the video if you guys want to see how gorgeous this thing is. Like... In the video, it kind of comes off a lighter color, but this is really true. What you're seeing on the screen right now is the true blue that it is. Now, oh, I also got a pair of combat boots from Rainbow. My last pair of combat boots from Charlotte Bruce, I got them for $10, got destroyed because I am always, like, hiking in them, running in them, doing everything in them that they kind of mess up. So I got me another pair, and they look just the same. They're just regular combat boots, got them for $10, they were on sale. So, nothing special with that, just had to get another pair. And the last store I went to was, of course, DJ Maxx, worked there. So I see all the stuff, gotta get stuff. The first thing I got is these, woo, floral shorts, they're so cute! And I got these for $9.99, they have the lace at the bottom. The lace, at, oh, that's so pretty, the lace at the bottom, so... These are going to be really fun to wear. I love the nudish flower color with like the black background. I love this. I got me another pair of workout pants. They're the capris, so I really love like the design and the colors, like black and gray. I'm a black and gray girl when it comes to working out, so I really like these. Got these for $12, I think, or $10 on sale. I got me another kimono, and this one's floral, of course, pink, but I really like how it has lace in the middle. I'm loving lace. I can't wear lace all over. Like, if you have a dress and it's all lace, I can't look. I, it just doesn't look good on me. But, like, hints of lace like this on shirts and stuff looks gorgeous on me. And this was, like, $9. Oh, my camera's about to die. So, the last two shirts is this floral yellow shirt. Nothing really awesome about it. I just kind of loved how it looked kind of Hawaiian. So, I got that. And then I just got a regular gray shirt for, like, lazy days. And I wore it yesterday. It has a lot of, um dog hair on it so those were like both nine dollars each i think or seven dollars each so that is my haul you guys my camera is about to die i just bought me another pair of pants because i got the wrong pair i gotta go sell those so yeah that's my haul i'm kind of running out of breath here so i'll talk to you guys later bye